Hi everybody, so this is our Cricut golf cart. We're going to do a little walk around of the golf cart to kind of um, show it off a little bit. We did a video on loading and unloading the golf cart and into our camper and so we wanted to do one just on the golf cart itself. So this is the Cricut Mini golf cart. This is the, um, the SX3 model and the SX3 model I think is their original golf cart. It's a middle size golf cart. They have another one that's kind of funky looking that has this like little kind of center thing with a arm. That, um, I'll put it like a in the corner I'll put it like a picture of it or something and then they have a bigger one um, that's kind of got this rounded kind of bubble um, and the one that's a little bit bigger is a little taller so the steering wheel comes off the back um, padded seat comes off the top comes off and um, this comes off all with wing nuts making it only um, 28 inches in height and that's what makes it so it easily fits within um, a lot of spaces where you wouldn't expect to um, fit it and then the center right here comes off and there's a little pull right here that you pull and that will um, collapse it. And um, when you pull this off, it's actually a lot shorter if you didn't notice. Um, so it's a collapsible golf cart. We'll show some footage of us driving it around. Um, this top, what is this top called? The Benini top. This is a Benini top. Um, I think the Benini top is the only top that you can get for this um, specific no, one. you can get the resort. You can? Okay. The resort is the one that has like the little glass panel on the front of it. I'll try to maybe find a picture of a glass of a, um, of a resort one. The nice thing about the Benini is it collapses down with just two wing nuts and, and it pulls off. Um, the top of this is just a canvas um, top and there's just these little strings um, that you can use to remove it and then um, put it back in place. The back of it um, is for like putting a cooler or a dog or whatever you want. and. Uh, it does fold up if you want to have some passengers um, that want to ride in back with you or something like that. But it's really designed to be a collapsible little golf cart that you use around the... Um... One safety tip is if you are going to have rear passengers, don't have them get in the cart until you have somebody sitting in the front. Yeah. Because, because it is such a lightweight cart, if somebody sits in the back with nobody in the front, it could tip over backwards. So. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, the battery, a lot of people want to know about charging the battery. It's pretty simple. Like you just, you plug it in. Like it's that, that simple. Like it just has, has a little outlet. Um, and in here there's a lithium ion battery and uh, it's a gigantic one and it keeps the, the um, golf cart going. Um, we don't use this for like 18 holes of golf or anything like that. We use this to, you know, putts around the, um, the campground mostly. So you're not really super, super concerned with um, a mega amount of um, distance, but it does seem like it gets us around for where we want to go. Um, one thing interesting is there's only one pedal on this golf cart. The pedal is the gas and the brake at the same time. So it kind of works like an exhaust brake on a diesel uh, truck if you're used to that, where basically when you step on the gas, you go forward. And then when you, um, as you take your foot off the gas, um, not only is it taking like reducing the acceleration with the gas but it's also applying the brakes at the same time so um, if you're not used to it like when you take your foot off the gas you just come to a jerk stop <laughs> um, you have to be very very um, light on the pedal um, so you don't get kind of jerked around the turning radius um, is pretty good on this thing also it also has blinkers um, so you know you can just like flip the little button and then it blinks to the left, blinks to the right. It has LED um, lights in the front that are really, really incredibly um, bright. There's a thing that shows a charge level here. Um, it's just a little indicator like, you know, zero, 100%, 50%, whatever. And then there is this little USB charging port here that you can't see behind the coffee cups. Um, it's actually a cigarette lighter, but you can put the little USB thing in there. Um, the one thing I probably don't like about the golf cart that, and this is a very, very minor little annoyance, is a key is positioned like right where this cup holder is. So if you have a key with uh, like a keychain or something, it's pretty difficult to, to get it in there with a, with a second cup. Um, so I have a tendency of taking the key off my, my keychain to make it a little bit easier to, to get around. Um, I don't know anything about the wheel size. Um, this is a stock one. We did not do any upgrades. They have like a million upgrades that you can get when you buy them um, from Cricut if you go to their website. Um, and people soup these things up and put like lights underneath it. You can get like a remote control so then um, when you're loading it and unloading it you can just push a button and, and it will um, you know remotely load up and down. And like I mentioned in the other video, um, 
on the back, and I can't even really get to it right now, underneath this tail light, there is a little metal arm that you pull, and that will put it in neutral. And what that's for is for pushing it around. So like if you need to um, push it up some ramps or push it down some ramps um, to, to load it up, um, that's a quick way to, to put it in neutral and, uh, and just like maneuver it how you need to maneuver it. So anyway, hopefully this uh, little walkthrough of a golf cart um, helped out a lot. And uh, I'll try to see what else I can include in this video to, to help you guys out. So uh, thank you and, and please like and subscribe. Yep, so um, one other thing to note is you can make this street legal. Uh, you do have to go to the resort top uh, because in order to make it street legal, you have to put a uh, windshield on it as well as um, a mirrors. So you have to have a rear view mirror um, and seat belts. So because you have your turn blankers already, you're halfway there. You really just have to get the resort top as well as put some seat belts in it. Um, and you're pretty much you can get it street legal. Yeah, and Cricket sells the, the seat belts, and they sell like all the whole kit to do that. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if it's worth it to do that or not for us, um, and I don't know if I'd actually want to take it out on the road because, you know, it's 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 small. I mean, it connects to a regular golf cart is pretty small. And again, I don't even know if I'd want to take a regular golf cart on on the road unless it was designated for, for golf, know, carts, golf yeah. carts and it was like really slow, like moving. Um, but yeah, yeah, they're fun. So, so anyway, um, thank you guys.